Cause I think then. Oh, right. you've caught us. Well, we're back with Van Dyke Parks. This is Van Dyke Parks. Please welcome him. And, and Van Dyke has a new album out, and it's called Tokyo Rose. And I believe you've described it as having a Pacific Rim sensibility. I mean, could you elaborate on that a little bit? I think that's fair. I, <laughs> I did come out with a record called uh, Tokyo Rose. It's about uh, um, East meeting West, such as we have here uh, tonight with Osamo playing the yes. Koto. And uh, we want to play a selection from it called Tokyo Rose. And, and we will. That but, makes sense? Well, of course. But, but before we do that, tell me about... Uh, I heard an interesting story about your first contact with the... Um, I don't know how to put this, Japanese culture? Is that, is that well, the right uh, yeah. terminology? I noticed you didn't say that they had their first cultural encounter with me. Well, I... But, uh, but at any rate, that was in 1971. Uh, I was working on a record with a tune called... Uh, Sailing Shoes, written by Lowell George out in California. And we had the session closed, as we often did in those days. We thought we were very important. We did this song called Sailing Shoes. We, I worked it out with Lowell, and there was a group of, of uh, seven men silhouetted in the control room. And I rushed back to the control room to accost them, and uh, darn if they didn't all bow and give me a pearl. And... Uh, they said, we would like you to make some music for us. I said, well, that's very beautiful. Of course, I emotionally responded to that pearl. And uh, immediately, uh, t I told them that I'd like to work on something for them musically, but that I was busy in this album. So uh, Lowell George stepped forward, trusty steed, put his hand on the briefcase that was open and filled with $100 bills and said, I think we can make music out of this. <laughs> so... That was the first time I made music uh, with, with uh, a mind toward Japan, and that was in 71. And this album, I think, is really a, uh, the first public statement of uh, my general love for Japan and, uh, and uh, the emotions that, uh, that drive my uh, music since having met that event, and that is a historical event in my well, life. It would be Aren't in anyone's life. They're like in this record. Suitcase full of hundred dollar bills. That's uh, Changed my day, at least. You know, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's really funny how far that suitcase took me. <laughs> I can take you, yeah. So, uh, well, why don't we do the cut off your album, which is, of course, the title cut, Tokyo Rose. Please. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. okay. of Ropongi, the nightlife of Tokyo goes, and out on the street with a beat from Tahiti, a neon moon lollipop flows. A woman in silken pajamas is seen on the screen of a door. She slips on a rice paper dress by the oar. That's the price of the ice on her clothes. The girl I call Tokyo Rose. Lavender blue. She trips through a door 
for hot sake And zips as her hips hit the floor Her pearls were strung in the harbor below In a bar where I asked her for more Veranda, a barbagian band in a stew was playing a soca when I reawoke. We were back at her penthouse, us two. I spoke of my love for MacArthur, the man of the park in LA. But you're so much older She covered my shoulder And I heard her say with a sigh A soldier may never say Die 